Listen up. The three most important things in my life are God, family, and the Green Bay Packers. They all know that winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. But I think Coach Lombardi would be happy if there were people who left the theater wanting to be better whatever their endeavor in life is. That's what he was about. He challenged you to be the best. So I was always fascinated by coaches and found myself really interested in people that had to motivate and people that had to lead. And Vince Lombardi was certainly someone that was on everybody's radar if they're interested in that. It's a fascinating dynamic because he was the one that was out there, but you're also getting to see him through the eyes of all these players. So you get a very different aspect of Vince Lombardi through the eyes of, of all these different people, and that's what makes this. Football is the content of this play, but love and inspiration and um, people living up to the highest level that they can be as human beings is what this play is really about. So Marie knew all about it. I mean, Marie was committed to the sport. She was committed to Vince, so she was committed to football. And she actually loved football herself. One of the things that she said is when somebody said to her, do you really like football, Marie? And she said something like, well, I like boys, and boys play football, so I like football. And obviously you're trying to capture essential characteristics and you're trying to get a spirit of somebody because this is about a moment in time, a week in 1965, that is inspired by the truth. But we've also had to create a you know, piece of theater. The thing that surprised me the most that I really didn't get from all the books was um, Coach Lombardi had a great sense of humor. And people loved to tell him jokes because he had a big laugh, but he was the worst joke teller. So we've actually put that in the script of him trying to tell a joke. <laughs> One of the things that Eric Simonson, our playwright, did so beautifully was he didn't try to tell a story that was beginning, middle, and end of a life. He drops you in right in the midst. And so with that, it gives you access. And I think that knowing that these people were out there and are out there just makes you want to do right by them, just like you want to do right by a playwright who gives you a wonderful play. We're telling the story about a family set in the world of football. And so we want to make the football fan feel comfortable and the person who goes to see Broadway shows and off-Broadway shows and have them understand that they can all sit together and enjoy the experience because ultimately it's about storytelling. And the thing about theater and about sporting events is those are two instances when people say, I saved the playbill, I saved the ticket, because this happened then, and I was there. And I think that that's something that's really palpable and that we all understand, and I'm excited for that to be able to converge at Circle in the Square.